Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today, me and Zach, Zach Pempray, yeah. his link will be in the description. We're down at one of our local rivers, northern New South Wales, and we're going to be chasing Australian bass. So it's about quarter past six in the morning. Really nice and overcast. So today I'll be throwing a surface cicada. Hopefully get some nice big action shots of the camera. Yeah, so today the aim is we're following our little local creek, which is, it's not small, but it's the skinny water. And it leads to one of the main rivers in this area. I won't give you the names because it's a secret and it's pretty good so you don't really spoil it. But yeah, so we're just walking through all the cow paddocks at the moment. And the river is in that tree line just there. Zach's just hooked onto a little bass, guys. Nice fish. Nice bass, sir. Nice little skinny water, northern New South Wales Australian bass. Taking on a micro pompadour. They're awesome lures. I need to get one for myself. So, no luck in this spot for me. Zach just got a nice little, probably about. 15 centimeter bass on his micro pompadour. So, bass fishing is super skinny water, comes with some consequences like walking through. All oh, this really dense undergrowth. But where there's undergrowth, there's structure and structure big bass. So to find the big girls, you have to put in the hard yards in and you should get a nice fish. So I think my PB so far is about 50, 55 centimeters. So hopefully today I can beat that. And if you want to see that video, link will be in the description. It's titled Monster Bass. About another 800 meters up this river is the main part. So this river meets the main one. It's like a tin section and we're hoping there'll be big bass lying in that tin section. Because all the food and fresh water flows down this smaller creek into the main one and it'll make a bit of an eddy. And the retrieve today is, so cast it, sit for about five seconds, really slow retrieve back, and add in the occasional pause. So we finally have made it to uh, the main big river I've been talking about the whole time. It was a huge trek to get here, going through lots of scrub, underground trees, tall grass, wading through rivers, and you can see, I'll give you a better shot later on, but up there, our river joins the main big river. So hopefully, and it goes all the way down there. So hopefully we get some nice fish. Yep, got one. Guy just hooked onto a bass. Oh, it's a little one. Oh. Oh, get off. Yeah. I think third fish of the day, second one for me is really small that one, absolutely smashed that little cicada.
Oh, come on. Yep. Oh, this is a better fish. Oh, it's still a small one. It's a little bit better. Nice little bass. He hammered that cicada again. About maybe 15 centimeters, this one. There you go, another little bass. Hopefully they start getting a bit bigger. It's a little one. Tiny little fish. Four fish today, it's so hot, you can hear the cicadas in the background, so obviously using the right lures, but not the actual size. So we're just going to keep walking down this little bit here, it looks pretty good down there, so. So, caught four, I think four bass so far, and that has been on the one of my little cicadas, but and I think I might swap it up a bit and try something different. So I'm thinking of one of these ones. It says I think it's a, it's a called Tailor Made. It's a Tailor Made cicada. It's wooden plastic, nice natural colours, and I think this would be pretty good. I'm running 10 pound leader and I think 12 pound braid. Okay, Zach just hooked onto a nice bass. He's probably about. Mm, 30 centimetres, we'll just give him a measure in a minute. Awesome fish. He is just 34 to the tip and um, 31 to the fork. Awesome fish. So this was a 40, no, 34 to the tip. So just under my PB, but still a pretty good fish for this little creek trip that was down here with Eli. So. I'm going to put this guy back in the water. Hopefully, I can beat my PB, which is 35. Awesome. Yep, just hooked onto a bass. Yeah, I just got another bass. Just just before I got my other one, it was a little little guy. Another little one. I tied on a new lure as I showed you guys, the little tailor-made lure. He, whoops. Yep. Go on. There you go, another nice little bass. He's a big, big. He's probably 25, 30. 30, I reckon. Off he goes. Thanks guys so much for watching this little bass edit. Um, We got, I think, in a total, maybe 10 bass. I think I got about seven and Zach got about three. Not too sure. Um, wicked day fishing. So much fun just exploring new rivers. So that's one of the cicadas that did the damage. And Zach, what were you using? I was using a micro pompadour and chucking it out there and reeling it back in. Yeah, nice. Making some loud noises. And if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below on your favorite lures to use for Australian bass. So mine are the top water cicadas, the Saku, TaylorMade, TMCO, 